Hello and welcome to the devotion for Tuesday, September the 18th, entitled, A Short Memory. Now, Sunday morning as we looked at, are we really fueling our bodies to do something, to make a difference? There is a huge component of that, which is we have to put into practice the things that we know. We've got to make them happen. Now, one of the passages that I read was from James 1, 22, and it said, Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Deceive ourselves into believing it just because we heard it and agreed with it. That's all we need to do. No, do what it says. For anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like a man that looks at his face in a mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. But the man who looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues to do so, not forgetting what he has heard, but doing it, will be blessed in all that he does. You see, the mirror is forever a picture of getting an accurate look at who we are. Looking in the mirror is always symbolic of taking an honest appraisal of who I am, where I am, What's going on? There are many things that we may agree with, that we may believe. The question is, when we take a long, hard look in the mirror, is that really who I am? Now, the second part, it says, if we look into God's law, it will give us freedom. Now, God's law needs to be measured against what we see in the mirror. What we see there needs to be paralleled with what God's law says. And I guarantee you there's good in what you see in the mirror. Our natural tendency is to see all the negative, how far we are, how much we fail, how imperfect we are when we look in the mirror. But that's not the first purpose. We need to realize we are created in the image of God, that God is not in heaven in handcuffs going, I don't know what in the world I'm going to do with this person. There's so little to work with. No, God knit us together in our mother's womb. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. God's purpose, God's plans are to use the person he created. There is good there. There is strength there. And we need to first of all see that we are made in the image of God, that our personality, everything about our likes, our dislikes, our, uh, our desires, our hopes, our dreams, at the core of them, they are a part of how God wired us up. Now, obviously, we can pervert them and mess them all up, but the initial wiring that we have in our life is how God wired us up. And where our purpose and destiny lie, lie in some place that God has designed us for, designed us to move toward. So we need to see there is good there. But we do need to take an honest appraisal and look between what we see and what God has really called us to be. And that gap, we've got to focus on. We can't have a short memory. We can't walk away and forget it. It's so easy to hide our head in the sand. It's very easy to rationalize away, to go, oh, I don't have time right now. I'll I'll work on that later. Right now, I've got too many other. And we forget what we saw. A short memory will keep us stuck. It will keep us from being alive and healthy and vibrant. Now, God doesn't expect all the change all at once, but I want you to take a look and then look at who you know God has called you to be what you know God has called you to do. And then begin to focus and go, okay, God, lead me one step at a time. You know, I don't know if this inspired anything that Michael Jackson wrote in his song, Man in the Mirror, but what a great line. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. That's where we have to come. When we look at the person in the mirror, and say, today change happens. Let's pray. Father, I know I am like Paul in Romans 14 when he goes, in my heart I delight in God's law. And yet I see another law at work, waging war against the law in my mind and trying to make me a prisoner. And he looked at his life and said, thanks be to Jesus who is giving me freedom. Lord, we want to be free. We want to be people that don't have a short memory, that walk away and forget what we saw, but we put it into practice. We allow that change to come. We become the person you've called us to be. 
Lord, as we literally look in a mirror in our bathroom, that we would see the miraculous creation that you knit together in our mother's wombs. Lord, as we look into the word of God, that we would also see what you destined us for and what you called us to. And whatever gap there is between what we see in the mirror and what you have destined for us to be, Lord, let us get tenacious about putting it into practice. That we would look at, this, at the, the truth of your scripture and go, if I can find a healthy diet of that, I will grow. If I put it into practice and use every bit of it, not just allowing it to entertain me, but using it to empower me, we will become athletes in the kingdom of God, as Paul described, that we will fight the good fight, that we will finish the race, that we will keep the faith. God, empower us and strengthen us that that would be the hallmark of our life. Do your work in and through us in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I encourage you to both literally look in a mirror and tell yourself, I am a creation of God. God doesn't make junk, by the way. The initial wiring of who created me, the one that designed my personality, my appearance, and everything about me is one who loves me deeply and empowers me. And then look into the word of God and see what he's called you to be. And then look intently into both of those and start pursuing change. And I'll see you tomorrow.